Go. Okay, my name is Glenn Martinez, All Alamonic Gardens. This is the Aqua Park 4. We got it all set up for you. When you get it, first thing you do, open up the lid, take all the contents out, and lay them on the ground. The first action that you'll have is putting the legs onto the bottom of this unit. And that's right over here. And that's very simply two wing nuts. There's no way to do this wrong that we've been able to discover. These just spin right on. They're aluminum and they're wood filled, so they're very solid. With each unit that you get, we give you three tools. The most important one of them being a level. And my level is right here in front of me, the level. You want to put the level going this way, I'm great. Go this way, I'm great. Take a look out here. If I'm not great, it's a little bit off. We give you a packet of shims here. And the packet of shims have a little quarter inch disc. And it says on this platform, I need to put a quarter inch under each one. I'm level. I'm good. Okie dokie. The next thing you'll do is take the stands. These drop right in here. And you'll see there's a round disc at the bottom. Just hit the round hole. Drops right in. Again, there's a little round disc at the bottom. This little plate simply sits right over here. Drops on there. And then this is the back set of legs. Very simple little like ladder device. And it sits right here. And there you go, folks. Quite secure. Okay? On top of that is going to be your cinder bed. The cinder bed goes on. And you'll see you have these little spacers. When you set this down, just scatter them out there evenly. No big deal. Okay? On top of the cinder bed is going to be the tray with the holes in it drop that in. That gives you the airspace so this will drain down completely into there. Then you put your cinders. It could be marbles, it could be clay ball, it could be crushed glass, it could be small pebbles, whatever you want for your biofilter. Fill it up to within about a half inch of the top. Okay? The next thing we do is get our bucket siphon stand. It just opens up like this. It can go either way, it doesn't matter. It sits right here next to it. Okay? Take your bucket siphon and set it right up on top. It's all clear piping. It just sits in there with the clear piping looking that way. The last tray we have is your float tray. It just simply sits on the shelf. There's only one thing to install and this is your overflow pipe. And This has your high-low. This twists back and forth and you can adjust the rate that this drains down and you can twist it up and down to set the water level. Pretty straightforward stuff. Okay? For the bucket siphon you only have one piece to put on. We do not glue it together. That is so you can experiment, change, do different heights, etc. Like that, okay? So we'll, that'll be going on there in just a second. We have our drain pipes here. Obviously, one is taller than the other. So one goes, it goes this way, okay? There's a set of legs for it, and this is just a support leg. It drops down here, and that just carries the weight. And also, when you're disassembling the unit, you can take this off and let the water come out and go on the ground, okay? And hopefully not all over you. So the drain pipes connect with a very easy to do, quick disconnect. It's basically kitchen sink uh, drainage uh, stuff but it's white PVC and it's food grade. So these are just hand twists. For guys or ladies with uh, delicate hands, we give you a free set of pliers in here. And they're very easy, nice little pliers and just give you a little hand grip. But don't go crazy on it, just intended to be hand tight. This bucket is for your tea maker.
goes in here. And the last thing we do here is now put this in here. That stays connected. Take your pump. Set your pump right there. Take your handy dandy hose. And it just couples right here to the only place available on the Y. This is your speed control. The one hump to the hook to the pump does not have a valve. The water always goes full speed. If you don't want so much water to go up top, you open this up and you let the water go back into the tank. So we'll just close, put about halfway mark to get started to try it out. This has all 45s. That really helps with the water flow. You simply just hook this over the side. Okay. Take your cord. You have an exceptionally long cord. So you can try to avoid having extension cords and you can run it to the nearest outlet. Okay. For your float bed, we've given you three sample things. One is my favorite, the plywood. And you take and put your little buckets, your little baskets in there. The float, which has always been popular, it gets baskets. And what we call the Filipino wire mesh, they found out taking fencing material and poking, putting it, wrapping it with either uh, um, plastic or nursery shade cloth, they do that and we set it there. So what you do with this, so you have three different ways to show different options of what you can do. Let me give you some extra net pots. All you need is your sender. When you run this, when you fill up the water, you know, when you run it, you have any air bubbles, just take your rubber hammer and tap this together and that. Uh, if you want to, you can glue it up, but we like to take it apart and put it back together as a lesson plan. That's it, folks. This is the smallest footprint that we've been able to come up with on independent stands. So you're about three feet and in three feet, you're six feet by four feet. So in 24 square foot, you have a completely self-contained garden. Fill it up with the water up to within about three inches of the top, turn her on, you're good to go. Got any questions, go to www.olamanagardens.com. Hit contact us and email us right over. Take care.